Hi, this is Dr. John Bergdorf. In this short video, we're going to explore how to multiply two monomials. Multiplying monomials is based on three simple ideas from basic mathematics. The first one is the commutative property of multiplication. The commutative property of multiplication states that if you have two real numbers, A and B, then A times B equals B times A. In other words, changing the order in which the numbers are multiplied does not change the result. In basic mathematics, you might, for example, explore that 2 times 3 is equal to 6, but 3 times 2 is also equal to 6. The order you do the multiplication doesn't matter. Another property from basic mathematics is called the associative property of multiplication. Given three real numbers, a, b, and c, a times the quantity, b times c, is equal to the quantity a times b times c. This rule says changing the grouping in a multiplication does not change the result. An illustration of that might be something like this. Suppose you're looking at 2 times 3 times 4. Order of operations says work within parentheses first. So the first thing you would do is multiply the 3 and the 4, and that would give you 12. 2 times 12. 2 times 12 is 24. If you change the grouping, you change which operation you do first. 2 times 3 times 4 would mean multiply the 2 and the 3 first. That gives you 6 times 4. Guess what? That's also 24. Quick way to remember these two terms. Uh, commutative comes from the word commute, which means moving around. Changing the order doesn't matter. Associative comes from associate. Who do you associate with? That has to do with grouping. That may help a little bit. Now the third property from basic mathematics that we need to use is a product rule for exponents. Given a real number a and any two whole numbers m and n, and actually this works just as well for real numbers m and n, but we're going to be looking at whole numbers, the numbers you count with, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 0 for the time being. When you multiply two uh, expressions with the same base, you add the exponents. Illustration here, if you have uh, x squared times x cubed, the base would still be x. You would add the two exponents together. 2 plus 3 is 5. That's because x squared means x times x, two x's x cubed means x times x times x, that's 3x's. 2x's times 3x's would give you a total of 5 of them. 5x's multiplied together, so you add the exponents. Now, those are actually the only building blocks you need in order to multiply monomials. Let's do a couple examples. So in the first example, I'm going to go through some detail to show how these rules work, and then in the next one, we'll do it much faster. I have two monomials here. Recall that a monomial is a real number constant uh, times a product of one or more variables raised to whole number powers. And that's what you have here. What I'm going to do differently is I'm going to both change the order of these factors and the way they are grouped. That's using both the commutative property and the associative property to gather together the factors that are constants and the factors that have x as a base and the factors that have y as a base. Like that. I'm changing the order and the grouping. I'm using both commutative and associative properties of multiplication. Then 3 times 5 is 15. That's just a number fact x squared times x cubed. We use the property of multiplying two expressions with the same base. You add the exponents. 2 plus 3 is 5, so 15x to the fifth. There's an, ex an understood exponent of a 1 on the y that's by itself. So I'd be looking at y to the 3 plus 1, which is y to the fourth. Not too hard. Now, you don't need to go through this middle step here that shows how the, the different factors are rearranged and regrouped. You can do that pretty much in your head. 
I'll show that with this example. What we end up doing is multiplying the factors together that are constants. So 4 times negative 3 would be negative 12. Multiply the factors together that are powers of a. Remember, this would be a to the 1. So a to the 1 times a squared would give me a to the 3rd. B, then multiply together the factors that have a base of b. b squared times b to the 3rd. 2 plus 3 is 5. That would be negative 12 a cubed b to the 5th. And that's really as simple as multiplying monomials is. Take care.